In these uncertain times, we're here to support and honor our local restaurants. So we'll continue bringing you new episodes of Check, Please! Bay Area. Tonight's episode, recorded earlier this year, still has three wonderful guests, but features only two restaurants. We hope you enjoy. It just added a whole depth of flavor to it that I was not expecting. I tore that food up. <laughs> it was delicious. And the garlic noodles, oh my God, they're to die for you. Well, did you rub it on your body? Once it got inside, it just worked its way through the outside of my body and I was fine after that. I'm just gonna leave it there. Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by At Redwood Credit Union, we help people achieve their financial goals together, offering customized full-service personal and business banking for the North Bay and San Francisco. Redwood Credit Union. Total Wine & More, offering more than 8,000 wines, 2,500 beers, and 3,000 spirits. Total Wine & More, now with nine Bay Area locations. TotalWine.com. The Bay Area Airport that's close and reliable. iFlyOAK.com. It's the transplant procedure that didn't just save one life. It saved six. It's a thousand things, big and small. Sutter Health. Hi, I'm Leslie Sabraco. Welcome to Check, Please! Bay Area, the show where regular Bay Area residents review and talk about their favorite restaurants. Now we have three guests, and each one recommends one of their favorite spots, and the other two go check them out to see what they think. This week, healthcare manager and mother of three boys, Daima Jackson, will share her opinions on her fellow guests' restaurants. Sadly, her pick has closed. Next, chauffeur and avid foodie, Carlos Pareda, stays up to date with the culinary scene driving his customers around Napa and Sonoma. He'll take us to his pick in downtown Yountville. But first, barbecue caterer Sean Lovett loves food so much he started his own catering company. Sean proclaimed on his application that he does not, cannot, and will not eat food with no flavor. His spot in San Francisco lives up to his proclamation. This is Crustacean. Hi, I'm Monique Ahn, and I'm the managing partner at uh, Crustacean Restaurant in San Francisco. Crustacean Restaurant actually opened in 1991, and it's our second restaurant that our family opened. The first restaurant was opened in 1971 called Tang Long. I think fate made crab our specialty dish because my grandmother, when she came to San Francisco and opened Tang Long, she had this lovely Dungeness crab dish infused with garlic, so much flavor, and people fell in love with it. And then when my mother came to San Francisco with the fall of Saigon, and we all took refuge here, she created the garlic noodles dish. And those two dishes just kind of combined together. They're so delicious, and it represents San Francisco really well with the Dungeness crab being so prevalent in the Bay Area. I have to give credit for the secret kitchen to my mother. She wanted to just protect what she had, and she said, you know, we're just gonna build another kitchen and no one can go in there, and that's gonna be just for our family. She always said, everything can be taken away from you, but your knowledge cannot, so I wanna give you guys something, and I wanna protect these recipes to give to you and your generations to come. Since crab is our signature dish, we go through about 2,000 pounds of uh, crab a week. So you all have to come in and have <laughs> Dungeness Crab with us. Now, Sean, Crustacean is a San Francisco icon, isn't it? It is, yeah. it is. And we've been going there for years, you know, so it's very special and dear to me. Um, me and my wife, we got engaged, and then the first restaurant that we went to, we got engaged in San Francisco, we went to Crustacean right after. So it's always going to be special to me right. when I go there. But really, it's all about the food. My goodness, I, I can't wait to get there. Uh, is it the ambiance? It's the food? As soon as you walk in, you know you're somewhere special. Um, right. The decor is uh, very elegant and well thought of, the you know, dim lights. You know, it's, it's, it's real romantic, you know, right. when you get there. So You've been there before. Yeah. 
Yes, and I've also been to their sister restaurant. Mm -hmm. Ten Long. Yes, yeah, so mm -hmm. I do, like you said, when you want to dress up and you want to have a date night, Crustaceans is the perfect setup right. for that. Right. And Definitely. I appreciate What that. do you get when you go? I mean, well, we all know what we're getting to. <laughs> Uh, but we start with the, with some appetizers and cocktails, but we like to start with the, the bacon wrap prawns. They're just amazing. They're lightly fried, real light phyllo dough with uh, with bacon, and it's just phenomenal. And Daima, really where like do you, when you walk in the door, you say, I really want to dig into some appetizers. So what do you get? this particular time I tried something different mm -hmm. because since I've been there, I wanted to explore the menu since I, I'm probably like you, you have your mindset on yeah. what you're going to get before you even get to the restaurant. Right. You're like, I'm going to get this. So this time I tried the lip green mussels. I'm a really, really big seafood fan. Okay. So it had an Asian pesto sauce. I had never heard of Asian pesto and it tastes so good that I had to ask the waiter. I was like, what is this green stuff in here? And he was like, oh, I'm not supposed to tell you. <laughs> I think it's some Asian pesto. I was like, okay, You're okay. tight lipped about well, all of had, their he, recipes. He said that. He <laughs> said there that. is a secret he kitchen did with They that. have a kitchen yeah. within yeah. a kitchen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Top secret kitchen. We'll get he to said the that. Secret he, kitchen. When I was, I was asking questions, and he would, he was like, he just laughed. He would not, like, <laughs> answer them, answer them, answer them. But I was really satisfied with the mussels mm -hmm. because the butter garlic sauce that they had at the bottom of the plate, I was taking my biscuit, my yeah, bread. Of course. And I, was, <laughs> I was really sopping it up. And, yeah, yeah, it was good. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And what did you start with? So we started off with the carpaccio. I thought Interesting. the carpaccio. Yeah. yeah. I thought the carpaccio was really good. I, I love the fact that Vietnam has this connection to French cooking. Mm -hmm. uh, so I love the melding of the Asian cuisine with French techniques oh. and French flavors. So the carpaccio was something that really kind of caught my eye when I first started looking at the menu. We ordered that. I thought it was really well done. It could have been sliced a little bit thinner. Oh. But other than that, I thought the flavors were really good with the capers and the onions and the vinaigrette and all that. I, I thought the carpaccio was a really good way to so start. So you were sort of teasing it, going, but we yes. all know what we're going to get. <laughs> yes. You know, what's the star of the it's, show? It's, it's all about the crab. Right. So we went there for, it was my wife's birthday, and then we're celebrating our anniversary as well. So we have a group of people, and we all ordered the same thing. Mm -hmm. We all got the roasted crab, cracked. You got to get it cracked. The crab itself, it's made with this butter, garlic, pepper sauce. I, I'm, I think there's some clove in there and a little bit of, uh, yeah, definitely some, some mm -hmm. sweetness, but it's so tight-lipped <laughs> about the recipe. Yeah. And Mama Ann and her family, they are uh, serious about it too. And I don't, <laughs> I don't blame them, you know, when you got a good thing, hey, that's what's selling. So I, I really love it, that's what we got. And the garlic noodles, oh my God, they're to, to die for. Mm -hmm. It's like they're infused with some type of garlic oil or garlic butter. And then they, it's like a ramen noodle. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not like a thick noodle, but like a ramen noodle. But it's like just like a yakisoba noodle. Yeah, like a yakisoba noodle, and it's it's just amazing. I yeah. mean, it goes so well with the crab. Right. Normally, I bring them home, and I'm looking at the kids like, if you touch my stuff, it's gonna be you <laughs> and me. So that's off limits. That's usually how I am about the noodles and yes. the crab. Right, right, right. Definitely. Let me ask what you had. Did you get the classic garlic noodles? Or? You know, I I was a little bit thrown off by the the pricing. That it's kinda, expensive. It is, yeah. it is. It is. What I ended up choosing was the roasted halibut, okay. which was a really great choice. Yes. Right. I don't regret not having having gotten the, the crab, right. and I will, I think I will definitely be going back to try it on another occasion, right. but I think I made a really good selection with the roasted halibut. It had a, a miso vinaigrette sauce. Mm -hmm. The fish in itself was roasted perfectly. Mm -hmm. It was firm, it was well cooked, it was cooked all the way through, and then with the sauce on top, with the miso vinaigrette, it just added a whole depth of flavor to it that mm -hmm. I was not expecting. And I, you know, so I've been there many times with many different people, and there's always been people that don't like crab right so my, my wife in particular she doesn't eat a lot of crab I kind of make her get the crab <laughs> so I can, so you can get the yeah, so I can get she, she just I said it's our favorite place but really my favorite yeah, place but you know she just want a couple of legs but <laughs> she ended up giving me the, the rest of her whole crab so I can't wait till we go to crustaceans but really She's had that halibut before. I actually stared at the halibut. It's interesting you said, because I was going back and forth on that menu. Yeah, and the the, uh, the side dishes that came along with it, it came with some uh, oh. bok choy and cherry oh, tomatoes. Yeah, that's, yeah. And then also a really interesting way of preparing mashed potatoes. So it came with a side of Vietnamese basil white cheddar mashed potatoes. Wow. That's fusion. That sounds yeah. good, though. Definitely. Uh, that's yeah. a mouthful. That's, that's, a that's mouthful not fusion. I don't know what fusion but is. But that was, that was just absolutely perfect. Really 
really, oh, really nice. good. Yeah, yeah. But you don't have to get fish, shellfish, or even fish because they have shaken beef and yes, other things right. in the menu. They have all the traditional things, mm -hmm. that, uh, fusion, um, yeah, the shaken beef. Right. So when we go, we always, you know, order a few different things. Yes. Well, did anybody wash it down with a little bit of wine, a cocktail? I, I love old fashions. So the bartender always makes me my old fashioned the way I like it. I like my old fashions with a big rock. And then I also like it not so sweet. Mm -hmm. And they always, you know, they kind of remember me there. They know mm -hmm. me there when I'm there. I've had a lavender martini from there before a mm -hmm. while back. It was really good. That was the first time, actually, that I had a lavender drink. And you know, when you think lavender, you think I want to drink a flower. Uh, <laughs> so I was kind of yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I don't like perfume in my mouth. Yeah. Uh, but when I tasted it, oh my lord! It was nice. Yes, that lavender an character. Yeah. Yes, as and it made me floral. feel really good after I drank it. <laughs> yes. Well, did you rub it on your body? Was that? Right? <laughs> I mean, well, once it got inside my body, it just worked its way through the outside of my body, and I was fine after that. So I'm just gonna leave it there. Yeah, I was fine. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm going to segue right away to Carlos what on that you have, Carlos? <laughs> Well, on that note, um, since, since this is such an iconic, classic San Francisco restaurant, um, and we live in Napa, so mm -hmm. we drove ourselves into the city. And so instead of going the wine route, I just decided to go the beer route. Mm -hmm. And they oh, have okay. Anchor's theme right. on the menu, which Can is a, a, a nice. classic San Francisco beer. So, mm -hmm. And it went really well with the flavors oh, yeah. that were part of yeah, my beer dishes. Beer goes well with, with that type of food. Yeah, yeah, it does. That's great. Desserts? Yeah. Um, I've had the creme brulee before. It's also good. Um, I like that the top part of it, it has the little cinnamon on top and it's firm and once you pop through that hard surface you get that creaminess i mean it, yeah <laughs> i like the fried banana it's totally flavorful <laughs> unbelievably well prepared right. and it's just it's the way to go mm. uh i chose the baked alaska mm -hmm. did not disappoint the baked alaska was really great i would order the baked alaska every time so I guess that's part of their fusion. Yeah. Right, right. They fused in a baked Alaska. I would not. I actually, I look at that menu so I've many times. I haven't seen that. Totally and missed the baked Alaska. Nope. Yeah. You learned something new every yes. day. Yes. All right, this is your spot, Sean. Give us a quick summary. Definitely Crustaceans is a special occasion restaurant. I love it. Great food, great crab, great garlic noodles. Definitely take someone that you're trying to impress. <laughs> All right, Daima. If you have a love for garlic, try crustaceans. <laughs> and Carlos. The food is fantastic. Um, really great uh, fusion between French and Vietnamese cuisine. Um, I would definitely go back if you want some really good Vietnamese cooking. All right, if you would like to try a crustacean, it's located on Polk Street at California in San Francisco. It's open for dinner every day. Reservations are recommended, and the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $50. We actually closed the day before the shelter in place formally went out. I think initially we were just a little bit in disbelief and, and shock, um, but we were all hopeful actually that, oh, well, perhaps let's use this time to figure things out. So we actually took some time to digest everything. We took the time to do deep cleaning, put safety measures in place for employees. Our kitchen actually has enough space so we're able to easily give everyone their own workspace to work. You know, just getting our first order felt like a new business opening again. Um, and we were just very grateful. We actually had a nice takeout business first day. And stay safe. We're so thankful for our supporters that drive from sometimes East Bay. They said they're coming down from South Bay. We get nice feedback from guests that say that you know, we celebrate our anniversaries here. And, we're celebrating again. We're going to come down and get some of their favorite foods from us. Um, you know, they were just very happy, and that made us feel very happy that we were able to um, still serve the, uh, our, our guests in this way. located in downtown Yaunfell, has some history with Check Please Bay Area. Its chef owner, Anita Cartagena, was a guest last season. Known for its Caribbean-inspired global cuisine, the menu changes daily, ensuring the freshest ingredients. This is Protea. 
The neighborhood in Yonville is magical. I absolutely love this town. I moved here almost nine years ago and it changed my life. My name is Anita Cartagena and I'm the executive chef and owner of Protea Restaurant in Yonville, California. I'm Adrian Showalter, I'm her son, and I'm the sous chef of Protea in Yonville. Our restaurant is a Caribbean-influenced global cuisine. My culture is in everything I cook. All of the spices that we use are from Puerto Rico. Everything is slow braised, slow roasted. I can't do this restaurant without doing that side of me. We change our menu constantly. We only have one reach in fridge, uh, one reach in freezer. So it's fresh in, fresh out. Uh, when we run out of something, we run out. I think first and foremost, what makes a great empanada is the dough. And then you gotta have a beautiful picadillo. And Adrian will pretty much pick out a region and just incorporate it into the empanada. This is our own concept, our own food. It's really up to us what this place becomes and nothing can be more important. We just have to really, really push every single day. Carlos, you live in Napa? Yes, I've In the town of Napa? In the city of Napa. Okay. Uh, so I've lived there now for 16 years. Mm -hmm. Was born in Nicaragua and immigrated here when I was a young kid. Mm -hmm. Tell me how you discovered Protea. I've known about Protea since it opened up. There is no pretentiousness about the restaurant. You walk in there and you're greeted with open arms. I noticed, I noticed yeah. that. Usually, yes. usually, yes. usually yes. by her, yes. she's there probably 90% of the time. She takes very little time off, but she makes it a point to make sure that the guests that walk through the door know that they are welcomed and appreciated. It's very unpretentious. Yeah. What did you start with? We started with the green beans. Oh my goodness, let me tell you, those are probably some of the best green beans I've ever had. Real thin green beans, long. They're coated with this butter garlic mm. oil that is just so fantastic. Oh my, I, I, I believe, and they give you a generous portion. Mm -hmm. I mean, we pretty much ate the whole bowl of green beans. It was just fantastic. And what do you usually start with when you go in? Um, I love the empanadas. Mm. The empanadas, mm. yes. it's a traditional, Puerto Rican and dish, she's from Puerto and Rico. she's from Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. oh, nice. So this is, I think this is one of those things that she puts a really great deal of pride into it, mm -hmm. and she just makes them traditionally perfect. Mm -hmm. They're great, they're crispy on the outside, the beef inside is really well seasoned and flavorful. If, if you were to look up empanadas <laughs> in, in the dictionary, there should be Whoa, a picture, wow. of, picture of, that. Wow. Of, of her empanadas yeah. right next to it. I've had a lot of empanadas from different various places and I have to agree with you, those empanadas were yeah. very delicious. We had the chicken tinga empanadas. Mm. So what I did notice is a lot of times the empanadas have a lot of bread on the mm -hmm, outside mm -hmm. and little meat. So it's really, really, you know, thick. Right, uh, right. This time there was less dough, buttery dough, and a lot of meat. Yeah. And I actually oh, yeah, was yeah. were watching them as I was ordering my food, and they were, they were so delicate with yes. it. I mean, I was yeah. kind of like, oh, kind of, yeah, I thought make me I, some empanadas. I, yeah, no, I feel like the consistency of the crust is flaky as opposed to other empanadas yeah. that I had at other places where it's doughy. Doughy, right. yeah. heavy, yes. heavy. Yes. Yes. See, I'm mad yes. now, I didn't try to empanada. Oh, <laughs> well, her son is the sous chef as oh, well, so okay. her son's yeah. in the kitchen I with her in a small about. kitchen. I'm at the sun, so mm -hmm. when, when, we, um, when we got there, I tasted the green beans, so I'm the type of the guy, when I taste some food. I can't wait to try those. If, it's, re either. if it's ridiculous, and then I have to know who made it. Right. So I went, I went right back. <laughs> To the kitchen, which is, you know, it's, it's, it's all right there. Place, right? Yeah. And the young man, he told me exactly how he made it. And he was so welcoming. And I can tell that their family is just close knit. Yeah. And they yeah. really enjoy Loving. what they're doing. Yeah. Food. Very passionate about what they're doing. I got yeah. that too. To be pumping out the food the way that they're doing it, be so well organized with what they're doing. For my dish, I ended up having the chillo frito, which is a mm. presented whole, a whole fried fish. Head, tail, and all. Oh, mm -hmm. everything. Yeah, the whole caboodle. And, uh, and of course, you know, it comes 
with a few sides. You've got rice and you've got plantains and you've got a little side salad. And so yeah. the eyeballs don't bother you at all. No, when you no. you're all doesn't good. necessarily mean yeah. that I'm gonna eat yeah. them. <laughs> but I don't, I don't mind them staring back at me. I'm like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> what I, did you get? I got the Cameroon that's Diablos, mm -hmm. um, which I've had several times um, at different various Spanish restaurants, mm -hmm. actually. So this was the first time of me having at mm -hmm. uh, this type of restaurant. Uh, what I did like is it was not too spicy. I, I kind of wanted it to be a, just a little bit spicier because I have I'll have a high uh, palate for spice. Uh, but it was good. It was really flavorful. And when I got home, you know, normally when you bring stuff home, sometimes it's not good. I tore that food up. <laughs> <laughs> it was delicious, and I didn't even heat it up. And I'm telling anybody that knows me knows I have to have steam coming from my food. Yeah. I'm just like, oh, it's disgusting. <laughs> but it was good room temperature, and I was like. Wow. This is some good food. If I, of all people, can eat this room temperature, mm -hmm. then it was good. Yeah. yeah, it was delicious. You know, you got a good chef. And what, yes. did, you, what did you get on this? So me and my one? wife went, and uh, she had the carne uh, guasada, mm -hmm. which is a beef dish, uh, braised beef, um, short rib. It was pull apart tender, uh, very flavorful. Really? Over some, uh, I think it was bumbo rice, mm -hmm. and she thought it was just like one of the best dishes she's ever had. I had the Jamaican jerk prawns. Oh, that sounds good. It was fantastic. It was it was wonderful, and they had it over some bumble rice and uh, beans. So, mm -hmm. I was expecting uh, black beans because it's a Latin restaurant. But no, it was you it got was white beans. Yes, it was oh, over really? white beans. Yeah. But the flavor was still Latin. Yeah, I was blown away by that dish. Well, and I think she has a lot of Puerto Rican, yes, but a lot of influences from not only the Caribbean, but other things. It's yeah. a little fusion, and I like the presentation. It was in little bowls mm -hmm. that were very easy to eat mm -hmm. out of, Yeah. and uh, I just thought it was, the dish itself was fantastic. I didn't need to add anything to it. I think I just slopped it all up. It was just amazing. <laughs> very good dish. <laughs> and what did you wash it down with? I washed it down with the rose wine that was it was okay. The rose wine was, was pretty good, but my wife, on the other hand, she had the Cabernet, and she said it was one of the best Cabernets that she had ever had. The wine list is not no, real it's, long, it's, no, no, but no, no, no. the choices are fantastic. It's it's less than a dozen selections most of the time, mm -hmm. but they're all chosen very carefully. Mm -hmm. They're all chosen very well. Mm -hmm. And yeah. what did you have to drink? Um, my mom had the rose, like mm -hmm. you had, um, and she said it was really good. Mm -hmm. um, I had... A rosé wine? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That, yeah. And I had a sparkling sake. Now, I have had sake lots of time. I've never had a sparkling. I've had it warm. I've had mm. it cold. It was good. Yeah, like, huh? I drank it fast, and I really wanted another one, but because we had to drive almost an hour and something away, I didn't have another one. However, I will be going back wow. so I can get a room, wow. so I can slam me some sparkling sake. Yes, no. And I promise you that. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, any dessert? There's a few little selections. Uh, there, there aren't many selections, like you said. Uh, the only thing, really, that I've ever seen on the menu has been these um, coconut macaroons. So, and that's what we had. Okay. I'm not a big fan of coconut, so I've never ordered the, the right. other ones. Me neither, but uh, my wife loves coconut, so she ordered the coconut macaroons. She ate the whole thing. <laughs> The whole thing. She's gonna be mad at me for saying That's that, right. but she, she did. Not. She did. It she good. loved it. She said this is just as well made. So she really enjoyed it. She really enjoyed All it. All right, this is your spot, Carlos. Give us a quick summary. I think Protea is a great place where you're gonna um, create new culinary memories, and I think it's an incredible bargain for where it's located and sophisticated in its simpleness. All right, and Daima. Fluffy and buttery empanadas and a great ambiance. Okay, and Sean? Awesome food. If I ever in Napa visiting my friend Luna uh, Winery, I'm definitely gonna stop off at Protea. All right, if you would like to try Protea, it's located on Washington Street in downtown Yountville. It's open for lunch and dinner every day except Wednesday, and it's got breakfast on the weekends. Reservations are recommended, and the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $30. When the shelter in place took place in March, the restaurant immediately uh, closed all service for in-house diners. We started a curbside and pickup and delivery program. We wanted to continue to serve our community and bring a little sense of normalcy to all of us who are struggling right now. And I think we've managed to accomplish that. My guests have been the best. I've never felt so loved, so supported, 
since I opened. I, I don't know. There's always been a sense of support from my community from the town of Yonville, but now it's it's such an embrace that I just I take home with me to my family. When guests come and they're smiling, you know, you can still see the smiles through the masks and they're asking you how you're doing, how can we help? It's just really, really special to have that embrace from the community and other people. It really shows you that what you're doing means something to them. And that's what helps me get up every morning. It helps me fight and keep going. So to everyone out there watching us for the first time, getting to know who we are and just feeling like you need to try our food, come on down, we've got you covered. We have curbside, I can even deliver to your hotel wherever you're at. Just let me know. <laughs>